Hi, how you doing today? We're going to be talking about how we transplant two months tomatoes into a five gallon pot. First I want to go over a couple things with you. One of the first thing is you want to make sure you water your plant the night before to prevent plant from shock. You want to feed your plant, make sure it's very well hydrated. Okay, that's number one the night before. This plant is about this plant is about seven inches tall. This is a seven inch pot. I started them in here so that way they could grow a lot and get very comfortable and that way I would have a lot of root to put into the new pot. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and loosen up this pot. Oh, why? Nice. One of the things that I want to mention that I have done a lot of research on, I don't have one at the time, that's why I'm not using one, but you can use a lighter pot and coloring and it actually helps the pot with moisture and helping it more. I'm using this one because this is what I have, but if you really feel that you want to control the moisture in your plant, you may want to use a pot that is much lighter in color that will help it. I'm going to go ahead and put this pot in here. Why? Why, Mommy? The reason why I'm loosening this. Why, Mommy? Yay! There's not too much root, but as you can see, there's some root there. Okay? Again, these plants are about two months old. A lot of people recommend using organic soil. Uh, the research I've done, it is better for your fruit. Um, again, I didn't have any on where I'm at, so I'm using uh, Miracle Grow. The one that's for fruiting and flowering. That's what I've grown it in, in the seven inch, and it's done fine. It's been growing, but now it's time for a new home. So that's the one I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna add some. One of the things that I, one of the things that I did do, is I actually watered this dirt the day before, really good. So it would help the plant. It wouldn't go to, go through a, a big shock when it was entering the dirt. Um, so that's something that's very important when you're transplanting. You want to make sure that 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 dirt is not so moist and so wet that the plant is going to go into a shock and not survive the transplant. So now I'm going to add some. One of the most important things that, that I've researched on is if you look on your plant, okay, these plants have, I'm going to get one out for you so you can see. Okay. See that? That's a nice root. Look at all those roots. See that? You can see very closely. You see these little hairs? All these little hairs? You want to go up to about right here. Because all of this is going to form new roots. This is your new roots right here, these little hairs. Okay? See this? See this plant? About two months old. You can see a close up. Okay? There's your roots. But I want you to see those hairs. Okay? See them? You want to go up to about right here when you're putting this dirt. Cover that up because that's all new roots. It's very important. can't see what I'm doing yet because my camera is not positioned very well, but this is important that you get all this bundled up like that nicely. Most growers recommend putting one tomato plant per, per, per pot. Um, I'm going to do a couple because I'm afraid I might lose some in this thing, but I will be doing 
an update video of my plant digger with the post of this with roots, putting it in there. Um, there are some things that you can do to help your plant. Again, when the plant is this young, they do not recommend putting fertilizer in it because the plant doesn't need that, that food. It doesn't need the fertilizer at this point in time. When your plant is maybe, you know, I don't know, maybe 13, 15, 13, 15 inches height at least, you know, a bigger plant, you know, much bigger plant. Then, then it demands more food. That, that's when you want to fertilize your plant. But at this point in time, you just, you're focusing on getting the plant in and covering up those hairs the best that you can so that, you know, they get a good growth. Okay. Okay. So there you have it. That's how you transplant. You want to grow, you want to grow your tomato plant in a five gallon if you're putting it in a pot or bigger. That's for best results. Again, this is the potting soil I use, Miracle Grow potting mix. And that's what I started it in. I had luck with it. Started it in a seven, seven inch pot. The seeds, the seeds that I used are, here they are, they are red cherry large fruited. Um, they, you can harvest them in 70, 70 to 75 days. Uh, days of germination is 10, 7 to 10 days. And it just depends on your season when you would plant them. But I, I definitely had very good results and I was very happy with them. Um, some of the things that I've researched and I found out that are very helpful for your plant. Uh, you can order it through online. I'm, I, I just researched it and a lot of people mentioned it in their, in their things when they wrote and stuff like that. It's called fish bone meal. It's good to add to it. And a calcium no nutrient. Um, that's also very good. About a teaspoon of that will help you a lot on your growth of your plant. Um, and there's different types of salt that you can also add to your plant to help it. Again, my main thing was, was showing you how to grow a tomato plant in a 7 inch pot, transplanting it into a 5 gallon, and seeing what's going to happen. Uh, I will be updating my video as my plant gets bigger once it has fruit so you can see the difference of now and before and the outcome of growing in a five gallon pot with Miracle Grow. It's, off, it's actually for vegetables and flowers and the baby plant did very well. Thank you. Have a nice day.